say whether you're an overseas voter, a military voter, or just a New York voter who wants to vote in the citywide elections. We want you to we want to support changing the law so that you don't have to vote in a primary and then a rental election and then a runoff election if you're running voting in the mayor or the public advocate or the controller. What happened last year? We had a primary, we had some presidential elections too. You could have voted four times. But we had a primary and then we had a runoff. And the runoff was just my friend Tish James, and she's great. But it was a runoff, she'd already brought the primary, she had a runoff, and you all we all paid $13 million for 187,000 votes. That's a lot of money for every vote. And people didn't really get a choice. It would have been much better to have a primary and then you say just James and blah, 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 whatever you want, and then you have a sense of who's going to win without paying $13 million. So $13 million is a lot of dangerous lots. So we're here to really, really want instant runoff vote, and I know that something Member Kavanaugh will say how it's going to happen in Albany. To be very honest with you, we have to push the city council bill, but we also may have to go to Albany, a little bit of a great Second, I just want us to know, we're talking about the issue of instant runoff voting and we all want it in New York. But we have the craziest system. You come from Minneapolis to New York, you live here, you're all excited about voting, and then you realize it's an election and you've never registered, and you had to have done that like months in advance. Or if you came and you registered as an independent, you realize, oh, I should be a Democrat or Republican. I won't let you know, whatever some people.